What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming channel. We are back here on EU4 World of Warcraft mod and we are here with the Silver Hand after last video where we got out of the war with the Scourge of Lordaeron and the regular Scour Scourge in uh, Northrend. We had to pay them to get out of the war because we were losing so bad. The war lasted like 10, 15 years and we got absolutely nowhere. But I'm here to say we finally are able to ally Stormwind. So we gotta wait 17 days here for the alliance. So now we are in alliance with a lot of people. Order on. We're in an alliance with Stormwind, Gilneas, Stromgard, and Quelthalos. So we are completely protected, hopefully. Because uh, Kazmodan is in a junior partner with Quelthalos, so we have... We can get everybody in a war with us. We have Stormwind, Kazmodan, we have... They have the vassals of Westfall and Red Bridge, yada yada yada. Stromgard, Gilneas, Quathalos, Dus. Um, another thing is we... Well, we have a mission fulfilled. I guess we finally got to manpower level at least 50% and monthly income at least 10 ducats or gold a month. So let's do this. Orders, economy. So we get local tax modifier plus 10% for 40 years. But it's insulting us? Why? What did we do to you all? We really should go to war with the Syndicate. For the Raven. <laughs> we went to war with them right now, we'd have to deal with Kirkland, the Syndicate, and... Dang, they are not looking too good, the Frostman at their heels. Oh uh, man, oh man. Should we? I mean, obviously I'd actually get a... What's my call it on them? Lame. But we'd have Gilneas and Stromgard with us, but we have another mission fulfilled. The first Paladins. Oh, here we go. Seeking to create an order that would suffer less attrition in battle, the Archbishop Alonsus Fowl, who had recently learned any, everything they had transpired in Stormwind, including how the clerics had fared, met Anduin Lothar and offered him to create a new order that would represent the best qualities of humanity. An order that would include soldiers gifted not only in wielding the light, but also possessing leadership qualities and mastering the arts of traditional warfare, while embodying the qualities of loyalty, bravery, and honor. With the Lothar's consent, Alonsus, Fowl, and Uther recruited noble knights and members of the priesthood from Lordaeron so that the Archbishop can respectively train them in the ways of the light and in martial combat as his apprentice. There was Torleon, the priest who had helped forge the alliance at the Council of the Seven Nations, and Satan and Darthron, a mountain of a man who was gifted with immense physical strength, Tyrion forging a knight renowned for his zeal and resilience, Uther, an accomplished knight and pious believer who had already apprenticed under Fowl for some years. And lastly, Gavinrad the Dire, battle hardened knight from Stormwind, comrade of Lothar, who had fought in the first war. Fowl welcomed his students with open arms, which he later named Paladins, while the city of Stratholme would later serve as their base of operation. Interesting. The first Paladins. So this gives us plus 25% improved relations for 40 years. We gain a permanent claim on the Scarlet Coast, the Scarlet Heartland, and Anderhall Fields. We need to get at least 60 prestige and we're losing prestige yearly. So I wonder if we can easily get it. Yeah, 
there we go. Yearly prestige. We'll lose some. Nah, we already are using that. We did. Back in the council. All right, the proposal of the aristocrats. Uh, complete the following fulfilled. Raise your main opinion of silver hand is at least zero. Man. Is that razor? Um, why? That is all the way over in Kalimdor. I mean, we could. And then, complete when the Fallen is filled Uther's tomb, local autonomy higher than 60. So weird. Uther's tomb. Local autonomy higher than 60%, so... That should do it, right? That's what that was, right? Dumb. <laughs> Oh. Another thing going on is we cannot get over here to the demonic marauders because um Yeah, we the scourge of Lord Ron will not let us. Kinda of screwed in that we're just gonna be able we won't be able to get to the Northdale logging camp. But right now I think we might try to go to war with Ravenholtz. Take some land just to make ourselves a little bit bigger and possibly make more money slash head down towards like some other this land that I think we need. We got our first boat, so let's go ahead and go to war. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure Gilneas and Stromgard have ships like 10, 10, so 16, so yeah, we should be. We got no more gone in the war. Maybe that's why Stromgard wants in this war. I want no more gone's lands down there. Can I get over here? And these guys will not let me go through. I'm kind of stuck. I guess I can go over here to the syndicate. I can't, because I can't. Oh my gosh. I seriously can't get to him. That's crazy. At least you have hills, Brad. They're allowed to go through? What? That's... That's annoying, man. Here we go, we can pass through now. Thank you, Gilneas, and your wonderful ships. I knew Stromgard would go south, man. I knew it. I really just want this so we can cross back and forth across the river. That'd be pretty nice. And it's a war we could possibly win because, uh, oh god, the Cult of Dam have called to claim Uther's tomb as their own. So that's, that's going to be coming very soon. Won't the remnants of Lordaeron let me come through? Letting everyone else. Uh-oh.
Now we're stuck on this side of the river now. Here's the syndicate. The lands. Gonna win this. Nice. Cross on over. I can go over here now. Very cool. See if Alterac. Nice is taking out the syndicate now. I just really want to. Really care about anything else? And obviously, I'll give Stormguard their stuff down there if they do take anything. I'm trying to take it back, and the only way we can get across there is uh, going across the river. Good. We got Dalaran over here. why do you have to? of Alterac is down. I'm gonna take Dandrid's Fold. Umergon is stuck down there because of the his ships. Stromguard's uniforms look We can just go ahead and get them out. Money off of them. I did want to do because I know if you do. Definitely release Dalaran. City of Alterac. City of Alterac. <laughs> That's okay. I did not mean to send those demands, but hey, Dalaran's back. We can head on over here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Earth Glen is still in this. One Hearthglen, kinda. Let's uh, head on over here. I need to make sure that my forces are down here when this war is over. They're going to be stuck wherever the heck. I low-key really need to get my forces over here though because this is the main mission is getting this left side of Lord on back first. Earth going out of this too.
pole? Can I just take three poles? I don't know. Golly. We're starting to overcome. Gilnae's got, well, not really. They don't have their stuff situated. Stromgar, let's go. Now, if you head south and take some of this Stromgar, I'll give it to you. Earthglen. I kind of want Earthglen. Hi. Nice. Great, Earthglen. I want your stuff. I said I didn't. But now, we kind of do. Yo, Hearthglen's out of the war. We own that now. Very cool. Take this from the Syndicate. I can. Out of the war. The syndicate is ours. Alley, that's what's best there. And I'm stuck here. I forgot. <laughs> Darn it, man. We got some corruption going on. I need to reduce some of this. I need a new Bible. Sure, the syndicate's fine. I really should have gone over there during the war. I'm an idiot. Firewood? Did they? Oh, they broke away. That's fine. We can actually go to war. Can we attack firewood? No, we lose our loss. All right, I do want to know if we declared war, who would come with us? Everyone's in debt. Distant war. Oh, come on. This is for. Frostbane, really? They're just racking up on more. Get all this. We only have that much? Okay. So, the one thing we need to do in order to probably win this war is make a navy. Yeah, it's a scourge. They have a 19 boat. Got to deal with the scourge. I mean, if Quoth the Lost has 41, hopefully they can bring their ships down and we can be going back and forth through here. Because... That's the important part. Oh, this coast is galleys be more effective here. Let's get our guys over here. Well, that's not good. So I can really just watch the galleys. Here, about to. But I could possibly build more galleys than I need. Just go back and forth through here. And possibly not even let them land. Which would be freaking awesome. Even though there's a lot of land too. Deal with. Yo, what? Jeez, Quothos is going off in this. Yeah, we're gonna probably forward. I need to make this. We're gonna go forward a couple of years here, see if we can't core this stuff up, and then see if we cannot get Stormwind into this war. If we can get Stormwind, we'll, we'll be golden. 
All right, dudes, we are back here in the 1st of March, 6.59, and we have officially made 13 total ships. That's all we can make. We got Frankie Schmidt as our captain. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's all we can make. 13, I got 19, so. Oh, what a... We can have 17 total. In as well, so 10 3 2. We should probably just make two artillery. Still haven't been able to make it over to the demonic marauders, but that's okay. We haven't been to Lights Hope Chapel in a long, long time because we have been stuck over here. All right, dudes, I just realized the Frost Wolf clan of orcs is in this little passageway here. I guess this is Alterac Valley, just like in World of Warcraft, so this is their part, the Frost Wolves. And I got a claim on them, and we can actually declare war on the take the Frost Wolf Keep. Um, apparently Warsong, this little nation, Darkspear, and Bloodhoof, so the Torrens, the Trolls, and obviously Hell Screams Warsong Clan. Um, way over there. I don't see them ever landing on our shores. So yeah, um, we're going to take that out, especially since I just realized we have this, the Orcish threat. So uh, all provinces in Alterac Ma mountain region uh, is not. I wonder if who could help me? Who's able to Gilneas? Yeah, 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 yeah. Request call to arm. Yeah, Gilneas, you can come right across through Syndicate and everything. Maybe? So I don't the Scourge actually kinda likes me. That's weird. That's weird. No, we don't need the religious estate. But I really would like to. There we go. Right on in here and attack them. I really do not see them landing anymore. I don't even see that. Alright, so we have everything in the Frost Wolf area. The downside is, um, kind of stuck in this war for a bit until. I don't see them coming over here. I mean, I can't really see them. They come through my land, strong guard. I don't care. You got war with somebody? I guess this is just kind of a sit and wait situation. Um, not too sure what we're gonna do here, but <laughs> kind of stuck. Being at war with the Frostwolf clan until, you know what, since we can kind of cover through all this, let's come over here and finally take out these demonic marauders because this has been annoying to see. And before this is over, I am for sure going to make sure my guys are down here or something. Might actually lose this. Oh man, we barely. Current ruler will die. Thanks. We want a commander. Always. Joe won a forgery. Finally took that. Let's take it out. We're going to make our way down here. Because I can always, yes, 
drop one of these. Make me a just one carrier. And I can always carry them from one place to the other constantly. And we are gonna have just to uh, wait and see what happens. Alright, finally, finally, finally we can take this from them. Plus some money, I guess. Perfect, we have taken just the Frostwolf Keep and Dunball Dyer. So we should be good to go. Yeah, that's awesome. For all that. Alright. Orcish Threat. The orcs remained a reality for humanity for too long. We even allowed them to live as our slaves in our camps and they still dream of conquest and slaughter. It's time to finish them once and for all. For the Alliance. Oh, that gave us enough prestige for this now. Might of the Alliance. Created for the needs of the war against the Horde, the first paladins dedicated themselves as holy warriors in the name of the Alliance and the It is caused to reclaim the lost human lands in the south. For the Alliance. We got even another one. Jeez. Expand orders influence A. Okay. Friendly movement speed plus 10%. What do we need for this? Alliance with Alterac makes Syndicate a vassal. I mean, is... Yeah, there's Ah, uh, never mind. They are Vassal of the Scourge. I mean, the Syndicate is a Vassal of the Scourge as well? Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Alright, dudes, I think it is time to go to war with. The Scourge once more. We got Gilneas, we got Stromgard, we got Quothalos. Oh, wait on diplomats. Oh, uh, returning from the war we just ended with. Frostwolf. We have 17,000, so let's see what happens. I feel like we can do this. I have a feeling as long as these three stay in the war. I was really hoping for Stormwind, but it's a distant war for them for whatever reason, whatever. Too bad the Scourge is not closer to them. So we joined the war and now Stormwind will join us? Yes, 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 yes. We have me, Gilneas, Highvale, Chasmodon, Quelthalos, Southvale, Stormwind, and Stromgard. We have 122k infantry, 18k cavalry, and $61,000 artillery. They obviously, we actually have them in terms of navy. So please just get your navy up here as soon as possible. And let's just blockade from them ever coming into port. Take out as many ships as possible. I'm going to be... <laughs> Pausing, and go and doing all kinds of stuff this entire time just because I don't know. Oh, they have so many ships down there too. Okay. Come up here, take out the syndicate. First, oh, jeez! Oh god, run. <laughs> god, I'm dead. That was, they wiped out my army. How is the scourge already here? What? Oh my gosh. Jeez. Well, my friends, uh, my army's dead already, so maybe we can build an army over here very quickly. Oh my gosh. A little bit something going. 
baby. Jeez, we got attacked so fast. There's the ships over here. I thought they had to come from... Man, it's unfortunate how fast we were taken down. So I have about 8,000 coming in. We'll make two calves. Four, let's do four for now. I'm gonna send these guys slowly start taking stuff over here in the western or eastern uh, border around. Any more ships I can take out that are causing issues anywhere? No. Okay. We're just gonna chill here for a while. Get him. Very nice. Run. You need to run, Gilneas. God, they got a 53,000 stack down there. Oh my god, Stormwind. What? Holy sh... Are y'all seeing how many men Stormwind has right now? They have over 100,000. Oh my god. Please get north, Stormwind. We need you up here. We are actually winning, guys. We are winning. Oh my gosh, we are winning right now. We have... 29, 39... 40, 51,000 troops over here in Eastern uh, Lord Iran at the moment coming across. Oh, geez, what are you doing? They just got wiped out so fast. Stormwind, come north, please. Can I get any of these guys out of the war? The only one's not their uh, frost main, so I really sh wish I could give this to someone other than Stormwind, but Stormwind. I thank you for being in this war with us, so I'm gonna give you that. That's what I'm gonna give you. We're gonna take a lot of money. Frost made out of this war. Stormwind has the southern cultured banks and stuff. Okay. So they're out of the war, so please, Stormwind, send all of the troops you have north ASAP. Oh no. Ships after really one. Nice. Nice, nice. So I think the first thing I'm going to do when it comes to the Scourge is we can't get anyone else out of this war, right? Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm not even probably going to take anything. I'm just going to cancel subjects like the Scourge of Lorder. Oh my God. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But damn. We're actually winning this war right now. Stormwind, get north, guys. Come on. Please hurry up and get that 100,000 troops that you all have randomly. Golly. Literally, in my last series with Kazmodan, we had one of the, probably the one of the best militaries in the world and freaking 
Stormwind's making it look like trash. Where are they? Oh my god. Stormwind, you're seriously the best in the world right now. Holy smokes. I'm just slowly making my way across and Stormwind is 63% of participation. Get them go. seriously have zero words for what's happening right now. You're cleansing the lands of the Scourge right now. This is going so much better than our last <laughs> attempt. Oh no. Oh god. Why? Get there! Stromgard! Oh my god, y'all are amazing. I don't know how I survived that, but we did. Ah, oh, Stromguard, you... Stormwind wants that too? Calm down! I need this stuff! I really, we really need to work on over here because I need like, make sure I need Brill and whatnot. Yeah, attack north, Terrace fall, so this stuff will be the start. Let's just get a get a look. So it's like that. And then they want See if I can't do something like this or something. Just take I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of this war. Alright guys, we are getting close here. We're, this is what we want right here. I just can't believe we did it. We pushed back the Scourge this much. Holy smokes, guys.
just can't believe we took them out. That's just crazy to me. We were struggling. And come on, there it is, Scullamance. Hopefully we'll win this little boat battle. And boom. That should be it, right? It is! Let's go! Can we take this little island? Uh, should. We did it. We beat the Scourge for the second battle. I messed up. I'm never gonna be able to get over here. Oh, I need to yeah, go with some crazy way. Gosh, we took the capital city of Lordaeron back. We took Brill back and we took most of Agamon back. Let's go. Oh man, that is so exciting. Don't keep our ships right here. I don't care. So we got the question of the Forsaken. While the Scourge was rampant in our land, some undead allegedly regained their conscience. The so-called Forsaken gathered in the lands of Terrace Fall and became a permanent element of the area. What will we do? Destroy the Corrupted, yes. So our guys are slowly making it really... Come <laughs> on, that was fast? Dang. I'm still trying to get my army back. Yes, we have to accept because we want to keep the guys, but we're going to just head on over to the capitals. Am I stuck? Really? I guess we're going to just take a boat to the capital city constantly. Looks like we got another mission fulfilled here. Attack North Terrace Fall. So we have all of this. The Silver Hand gets liberated Terrace Fall for 40 years. No, I don't care. Corruption's growing. That's okay. No, it's not. It's um, dang. We can, we are now a duchy. Awesome. Plow the fields. Yeah. What is all this anyways right now? Hey, right, what do we got? The remnants of Lordaeron. Make Lordaeron's remnant a vassal? No way! Let's go. Lordaeron is our vassal now. <laughs> Let's go! Anyways, dudes, I think this is where we're gonna end this video today. I don't even know what to say with what we accomplished we have new avalon attacking us over here but man oh man we did it we took down part of the scourge of lordaeron finally 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 did it ah i feel so good thank you quothalos stromgarge gilneas kasmodan and this ridiculous stormwind my god look at them go they're down, way down in Southern STV. Holy smokes. And I gave them land in Dunmoreau. That was probably a horrible idea. They were really wanting land up here as well, but man, look at us go. We took, we're able to go from here over to here too. We can't get exactly get to the Northridge Lumberyard, but man, I feel like we did a lot of good things in this video. It looks like we have taken over Western Lordaeron for the most part, and we just need to continue on 
expanding east until we can completely take this over. And eventually, we're going to land in Northrend and take out the Scourge at the, I, I guess, Ice Crown Citadel. Soon enough, soon enough, but our ultimate goal is to take back Lord Orhan and go for it. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below and comment. Uh, another thing is, I've recently become affiliated with Red Dragon, the gaming accessories um, brand that honestly does some great things. So if you ever need anything from Red Dragon or new gaming accessories, I have a link down in the description of this video on affiliate link you can use. And if you use in all capital letters, Dude Gaming, you can get 10% off any purchase on the website. But if you want to see more videos here on the Dude Gaming channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks y'all.